Hey, it's Andrew from PracticalMaker.com. Uh, so today we have the uh, Arduarium Basic board um, pretty much fully assembled. Uh, so we're just going to do a quick overview of what's on it. We've got uh, one, two, three, one wire hookups. So they're USB. I actually have um, a one wire sensor hooked up right now. Uh, although it's not displaying on the LCD. There's uh, five, so these five USBs are um, I2C hookups, and then right here is a um, analog uh, pinout. So it just pins out two analog pins, a positive and ground as well, so you can hook up whatever you want. Um, I'll, I don't have any in stock, but there's an RJ45 jack that goes here for either four PW, PWM outputs, uh, if you have LED lighting, or they can be digital inputs or outputs. There's also two BNC uh, connectors. They can either be, either one of them can be used for PH or ORP. Um, I have one connected up here. And so you have uh, two power LEDs. One shows you, one shows uh, you have good 5 volts, the other shows good uh, negative 5 volts. You have the uh, trim pots to adjust pH and ORP. And then over here we have the uh, DS1307 real-time clock hooked up. So, I, I have the Macroduino code running on this right now. Um, I've been working on it to integrate it a little bit, not very much, with the uh, LCD keypad pack. So basically what we've got is we can display the time. Uh, we can also change how the time is displayed. So I'm just going to do that right now. So you can see it's right now it's in uh, 12 hour time. So I've configured it so that you can send a serial command uh, and, and change it to 24 hour time. Now the serial command <coughs> is what's known as a, I'm going to call them interfaces, so in, an interface could be serial, ethernet, Wi-Fi, XB, XB would be serial. And uh, so you just write an interface to, um, that interfaces with the control functions, so you can actually do quite a bit of stuff. So we'll just change this to 24 hour time, and uh, basically with an ethernet when I get an Ethernet card uh, hooked up, I'll be writing an Ethernet interface uh, for it. And so you would just send the command over Ethernet and it would do the exact same thing. So I hope you enjoy the video. There will be lots more coding being done in the next week or so uh, to support um, a whole slew of things and uh, hopefully it doesn't get too big. Right now we're at 16 kilobytes um, with the serial interface activated so using Ethernet you'd save uh, 6 kilobytes or so but uh, anyways comments are welcome and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video.